All right, y'all settle on down, settle on down. Class is now in session. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Liverpool's TV. This is Bass Blast. So today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of talking about uh, fishing muddy waters. Seeing that's all we freaking get anymore lately is multiple days of rain and multiple high water and just super muddy water. Like for me right now, my local water is the James River. And it is like this much visibility. Like it freaking sucks right now. You can't see nothing. So <clears throat> it makes it really tough. So I'm going to go over some baits and some tactics for you guys. And hopefully it'll help you catch some more fish. So let me get into it. So basically fishing water columns, uh, starting off in that aspect, uh, the, uh, the higher the water column you're fishing, I'm going to want to fish brighter colors. Uh, there's more light penetration, the higher the water column. As you can understand, the lower the water column, less light penetration. So you're fishing like two to three feet or anything high in the water column, like a crankbait or square bill. I want a black and chartreuse or something bright color, chartreuse, even a white. But for me, chartreuse seems to just give you that little bit of extra flair. Uh, same thing with a spinnerbait. I mean, which can be a good uh, bait for muddy water as well, is chartreuse. And a little bit of white in it, but most of the chartreuse. And got these gold blades. Those gold blades are going to give you a little extra flair. It's from flesh. This actual top one's actually a copper blade. Gold and copper. Uh, a little bit of a difference, but it's a, it's gives it a little bit of a little flash, you know what I mean? So, because they need every little bit they can get in this super muddy water like this, and it's it's so muddy right now that they they can't see. So when it's that muddy, they want to go shallow so they can get more. Basically, it's almost like if you turn go in your house into a room, shut all the lights off to where it's pitch black dark, the first thing you're going to do is what? You're going to walk right over to a wall and feel. So you feel some security and you know where to go. So that's pretty much what they're going to do. They're going to do that in shallow water, really, really close to wood or whatever uh, structure is in your fishery. Uh, for the James, it's a lot of wood, some rocks and stuff like that. Uh, not as much vegetation, but... Uh, more wood than anything so they're gonna sometimes sit I mean right up on it so you know for square bills uh, I'm gonna throw this thing and run it into as much wood as I possibly can now I'm not gonna burn it though I'm not gonna go super fast like normal or just normal even normal retrieve I'm gonna go a little slower because they can't see it as good so as it's coming by they need to be able instead of it going about real fast they need to be more seeing this so they can lock in on these and hit it. Otherwise, you go burning it, you're gonna have a lot of short strikes, misses, swats at it, things like that. And you're gonna want rattles. You want rattles. They be able to hear it, they can see it, they can feel it. So it, you want noise, vibration, and bright colors. For a higher water column, like I said, same thing with the spinner bay. I wanna bump this into some wood, stuff like that. Be careful, I throw a trailer hook and I highly recommend, there's some vegetation right there. I highly recommend throwing a trailer hook on, especially in muddy water, uh, because of the visibility. If they do swat at it and not, not get a good hit at it, this can help catch them. So it's very crucial. Put a trailer hook on your spinner base. But that being said, going through cover and wood, be careful because they do snag more and they tend to hit stuff and roll. So when they roll, that back hook will catch. So be careful for that, but just uh, keep that in mind, definitely with your trailer hook. Now, as you get deeper in the water column, less light penetration like we talked about earlier. So you're gonna want, instead of something super bright, you're gonna want something darker. Like for instance, a jig, you're gonna want a black and blue jig. That's always a good staple for dark color, muddy water. Even people like it in regular clear water too, but that's something darker. It'll stand out more and they'll be able to see it. Uh, I like, for me, I like the Junebug, 
uh, brush hog, uh, as well as a June bug, uh, zoom speed crawl. Uh, they all are very good baits. Uh, it's a personal preference for me. These are the baits I chose. Um, you might like a different brand or a different make. Uh, it's really a, a confidence bait is really what you want, but you're gonna want those darker colors, or black, blue, purple, dark purples, things like that. They're gonna be very crucial to your success. So you pick your confidence bait. Sorry for the noise in the background, that's just my son. He's a bass head, he's just a baby. He's a baby bass head. So, uh, but the, Fishing the wood structure, you're gonna to want to get in it. Don't throw beside. I mean, you can throw beside it, but don't just throw beside it or in front of the laydowns of wood. Get in it. Get to the thickest stuff you can, because they're gonna to want to sit as close as possible to it. Now, if you get all up in it and not get bit, then you can throw the outsides of it, you know, and try it that way. So, and you, you're gonna to have to hit these spots multiple casts at one tree, one laydown, one stick, one stump. You know, you're gonna make have to make multiple casts, different angles, different presentation. I mean, you're gonna have to find out what they want, but these kinds of baits and this kind of knowledge will help you to to, to catch more. So, uh, in these clips, I've got uh, these same water conditions, uh, but the bass are sitting in the in this wood. Uh, they're sitting, you can't see it as well. I know it's there because I fished the area so many times. I know there's wood underneath the water, but there's a whole, basically a lap pile of wood right here. And <clears throat> these fish are inside of it. So and you're gonna have to make multiple casts in there, but it can be rewarding as you see. So remember to use bright colors in your higher water column scenarios, darker colors, fishing deeper. Now, when I say deeper, I don't mean 20 feet. I like to stay six foot or less when I'm fishing muddy, muddy water. Uh, it's just, uh, they just don't want to go to deep. I'm not saying you can't go deep and burn them up, because you sure you can, I mean, I mean it's possible. With bass fishing, but more times than not, the guy that's fishing the banks doing these kinds of things is going to beat you. So, I hope these tactics and these tips and these bait selections and colors, I hope they help you to catch more fish in the future in this situation. Hopefully, you don't have to worry about fishing these muddy waters anymore here soon. Hopefully, all this rain is done. I don't think so because we're about to get more rain from Florida here soon. So, I don't know, but hopefully this helps you out and doesn't keep you, the muddy water does not keep you from not fishing. Get out there anyway, guys. As long as it's not dangerous, get out there, fish it anyway. And this, this can help you learn and get better at these conditions. So hopefully these tips help you guys catch more fish in your upcoming adventures. And if you liked the video, hit that like button. Hopefully you subscribed already. If you haven't, subscribe right below. And uh, share this video around, guys. Leave me a comment, tell me if you like these videos, these bass class videos. And uh, share these videos, guys. Help other people. Send them to buddies of yours, family members. This will help them as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Be a bass hit. Class dismissed.